smallholder women farmers in the FCT are creating alternative ways to secure their farm produce amidst the negative ripple effect of climate change and incessant headers farmers conflicts. The ICIR visited Abaji, Buari, Gogolada, Kuji and Kwali area councils of the FCT to see how women farmers are coping. Agnes Mathias is a farmer and Swafon member from Abaji area council. She says low rainfall has resulted in declination of her farm produce. This challenge where we get now, they say rain never fall to go farm this time around. Kuma our farm they far. Another challenge we say, um, even though we go farm now to do every anything for farm, no, you know, go good because rain never starts. Except na cassava. I be a yam. Now only that one. Now I'm there for farm this time around. Aside dealing with lower output, Agnes has to deal with sharing of harvests with whoever she acquires land from to farm by 40%. Because if so far when no be our girl, no be our own land, when no be our husband land, if another person give you land, we no one collect money for him, for his head. Who might want made farm for that land? After a farm finish, you go say men and divide it, divide it for the thing where you farm for inside because nobody your land. As you know, see another another one, you go be around, you go do and like that. But my, if you see the place where then they rent, we they rent forty thousand sometimes, fifty thousand some, sometimes, but nobody everybody they agree made them rent like that. Kinikon farmer Victoria Okpanachi in Kuje Area Council faces the same challenge. She adds that the high cost of renting land for farming is also a challenge farmers face in the area council. We, I rent this year, I spent money on over 50 something to rent only land, not tractor, not to clear, not uh, everything, only to rent 50, 53,000 for renting. She calls on the government to stop Heather's menace, which she says is a threat to farming in the area council. Sometimes we will farm uh, cow used to eat our farm. Sometimes the challenge is uh, the chemical that we need to plant the crops. We don't, we didn't have spray. I know that everything is money now. And Reacting to the heightened tension between farmers and herders, Action Aid Women's Rights Program Manager Nkechi Ilochi Omekedo says everyone would pay for it if the government fails to take action urgently, as this will cause a rise in food prices. Comfort Sunday is the FCT coordinator for Swafon. She lives at Jiwa in Abuja Municipal Area Council. She bitterly says she no longer plants some of the crops because of the infertility of the soil and effects of climate change. She also adds that getting land for farming in Jiwa comes at much cost to farmers, especially women farmers. According to her, small-scale farmers could pay up to 50,000 naira before they get land to farm on. I always farm uh, yam, but due to the weakness of the land, I cannot farm yam again. And even the maize, like last year, now only granite I farm because of the weakness of the land. Because as we are rotating the land every year, repeating the same place, makes our land weak. Notice, as we are coming, you see where the land crack. Mm. That place, nothing there like that before. But because of that last year, it affects even this my farm. All these places. If you come that, the, during that uh, 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 July ending to August, I'll be August to September. All here, my water you will be matching the water. And before, it's not like that. So if you plant anything that uh, the thing no like the water, that means you can't even harvest anything from there. So those things is affecting us because of 
the area that you can uh, you not even think of for water, you will find yourself inside water jail. The World Health Organization who says climate change is impacting human lives and health in a variety of ways. Maimuna Tsule, a poultry farmer at Kwali Area Council, laments that extreme hot and cold weather that comes with climate change kills her birds. She also decries a sharp rise in the prices of chemicals and poultry feeds. She says drugs and animal feeds have doubled in price within a year. The feeding, you can't bought it before it's 3 6. Now it's 6,650. Without transportation, ma. If you add transportation from here to Babalada, come back with bag of food, you have to do it. It's 400 naira. Because going, you pay 100 naira. Coming back 150, you climb Okada with the bag of food there, collect their money. Even motor. Because if small Okada carry us, drop us for that, you have to pay the driver again. We are not seeing support from Shofan. We are not seeing support. We need their support. Like this time of the year, May, all, all things being equal, we would have seen corn everywhere, maize and things like even yam. But now, because of the change in climate, we can't do anything. We are waiting for the rain to come. No rain yet. In Kofina community near Zuba in Gwagwalada Area Council, Zainab Rabiu, another woman farmer and widow, says she's tired of government's unfulfilled promises. She alleges that government officials have promised to support women farmers with farm imputes many times, but have failed. Since where they talk, 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 the government call us now. They will say they will do that, they will do this one, they're not going to do. They say they will bring fertilizer and CD and so so the makers. We no go see her. I live tired. I can't they talk since they don't do anything for us, not anything where they give us for a year. We need some chemicals like this, like a fertilizer, anything for farm, we will take and use for farm. We don't see them. So please and please, we are begging to come and to help us for this community. So this affects for this, uh, my farm now. Because if you rain farm now, I start with mess. I will plant mess. As rain never falls. I miss my farm uh, for mess now. I know you can plan mess because I'm not far. So that's why I come to uh, come plant uh, watermelon now. Speaking on behalf of the FCT's Agriculture and Rural Development Secretariat, Yahya Husseini says it has been working within its resources. It admits that it could not help farmers in the city in 2020 but blames it on COVID 19 and the NSAS protests. had approved a revised budget of 199.2 billion naira for the FCT in 2020. FCT Minister Mohamed Bellu led his officials to present 299.9 billion naira as a budget earlier this year. The FCT's Agriculture and Rural Development Secretariat refused to release its budget to the ICIR reporter. Efforts to obtain the FCTA's budget were also unsuccessful. Thank you.